During the CT scan, they injected me with a dye through my IV, which was already installed in my left arm. It wasn't a pleasant experience at all. It was painful uh, as it was going in, but I guess they put it under pressure. So after I went in a short moment later, it felt like I had to pee. Um, I didn't have to pee, but it felt like it because it would get all warm down there. And in fact, it kind of felt like I was peeing in my pants, but I wasn't. Strange feeling. Anyhow, uh, the CT scan was fairly quick, less than five minutes, and then I was back um, in the emergency waiting room. Appendicitis is an infected appendix due to a blockage caused by fecal matter or undigested food and what happens is that if it's not removed it could rupture. was about 45 minutes long and my surgeon doctor did that um, I woke up at 5 o'clock the next day and uh, one of the main reasons why I woke up was single hour and the nurse was quite amazed how how much pee I had and I was amazed that I had that much liquid in me but it just kept going and going so that was pretty much um, the first three or four hours of, of my recovery breakfast came at eight o'clock was the greatest food that I was starving because I hadn't eaten anything for 36 hours 
unfortunately, the, the nurse is very nice. She managed to find the before breakfast came, so I had a little bit of a snack before breakfast came. Breakfast was just, you know, I had some scrabble day with a really bad taste of coffee, some juice, some cereal, and uh, ate most of it. let me out at, or they released me at around 10 a.m. Well, they said I can go home at 9.30, but I was waiting for my friend to come pick me up, so I was out there, out of there by around 10 o'clock. I always wanted to try one of these carts and now I finally had the chance. Okay, that's enough. Then. Today is Tuesday. And on Sunday, I had a appendectomy, which is the removal of an appendix. Today is the second day um, after getting discharged. I was discharged Monday morning, and um, my system still had a lot of the drugs in me, but this morning, they've all worn out, and I woke up with immense pain. I, I'm not a fan of taking medications, but I had to take some today because I just couldn't move without them. And I took two of those pills that I showed you a snapshot of. Um, and within within 30 minutes, I, I started feeling some relief. Um, they've also given me stool softeners because the last thing you want is to have constipation you won't have the strength to push it out but um, as you can see I, I'm still struggling right now I've taken two of the painkillers and two of the stool softeners and we'll see how the day goes made an appointment to see my doctor tomorrow so he'll, he'll get to check me out as well um, I can't eat any solid foods I've been told to stay with soft foods so I made some cream of mushroom soup yesterday and I invited my buddy over to enjoy some with me um, and I'll probably have that for lunch again today just to finish it off but uh, that's that's my first update for you see you next time today is Wednesday May 9th and it's been three days since I had my appendix removed. The pain meds that I've been taking are really strong. Um, yesterday I had two pills in the morning at 10 o'clock and then one at two o'clock, one at six o'clock and then at around 10 o'clock I had two more so I had a total of six pills yesterday and this morning I just had two about an hour ago and I tell you they they make me drowsy like hell I had to take a nap just now because I couldn't stay awake um, you definitely can't drive if you're taking these meds you can't operate machinery um, you're not supposed to consume alcohol with them, obviously. I took two stool softeners again today. You're only supposed to take one to two tablets a day. Um, funny thing is I, I haven't had a bowel movement since Sunday, which is worrying me a bit. Now, I haven't had any solid food. I had some cream of mushroom soup on Monday night and Tuesday morning, Tuesday for lunch, finish off the leftovers. 
And then my friend Samantha brought me some uh, chicken congee. And that's about the only meat I've had since um, Sunday. Or since Saturday, I guess. Um, sorry, I'm a little woozy with the medication right now. Uh, so I finished off the congee yesterday and that was that was good for my stomach um, All I can eat is soft food right now, so So hopefully I can get back on the hard food. I haven't read my my documentation that I was discharged with but uh, That should probably tell me when I can start eating hard food again uh, I'm gonna be seeing my doctor in about an hour and a half and we'll, we'll see what he says. Um, right now I, I find moving to be still a little difficult. I, I walk like an 80 year old man, maybe even slower, because my dad's 80 years old and I think I walk slower than him. Um, I have to walk with a slightly hunched over position just simply because my I don't want to stretch my stomach. It, it gets a little painful when I when I stretch my stomach um, and so I have to also sleep with a, a fairly high pillow which uh, raises me forward a little bit and, and that kind of helps with the sleeping uh, that's about it that's I had a green smoothie today I'm, I'm hoping that uh, the spinach in the green smoothie will, will help well, the fiber would, would help push things out. Uh, we'll wait and see if I can get a bowel movement. Um, that's all I have to say for now. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Hi everyone, it's Thursday, May 10th. It's been four days since I had my appendectomy. First off, the drugs that they gave me this is it here it's called tramadol tramadol mixed with acetam acetaminophen and it's an opiate and after doing a little bit of research um, I realized that these drugs painkillers that they give you are gonna make you constipated and boy do they ever first of all they're super strong so you have to be careful in following the dosage it says one to two tablets every four hours you're not supposed to exceed that and if you do you're gonna harm your liver speaking of liver you also cannot drink alcohol when you're consuming this um, best to wait day or two after your last pill before you consume any alcohol. There's a risk that the combination of the two can harm your liver and um, you could also die from it literally because I've had a, a friend die from consuming pain meds and alcohol. Um, going back to constipation, yes it's been Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, six days, no, five days. It's been five days since I last had a bowel movement. Now I haven't, I didn't eat any food um, since Saturday night. So all of Sunday until Monday morning was when I first had some food and I've not had much hard food since um, since I had my operation. I've been asked to stick, stick. I've been asked to stick to soft foods, which I have: um, congee, noodles, um, soup. That's about it. I've got some steak in the fridge that I had to frost it on Saturday with the intention of barbecuing it up, but unfortunately, I can't eat that. And I'm glad I didn't because having, you know, not having a bowel movement and being in that position is very uncomfortable. Anyhow, this morning, Thursday, I finally did.
did have a bowel movement. It was very uncomfortable. Um, fortunately, the doctor also prescribed me some of these guys. Stool softener. This is over the counter. It wasn't much. It was like six or seven bucks. This was thirty-three dollars for thirty tablet, thirty-two, thirty tablets. So it's like a buck or so each. <sighs> but for the the pain relief, it's it's worth it. I don't think I'm even gonna take it all. There's, I I took three yesterday. Six the day before, so I haven't even consumed ten of these tablets. Um, they're super addictive because they're opiates, so people can get addicted to them. So I'm gonna start cutting down my consumption. I haven't had any since yesterday six o'clock. I may take one later if if the pain is is really unbearable. But right now, if I don't laugh and if I don't move, I I'm doing okay. <laughs> Uh, I finally got my bowel movement. It took me 30 minutes to, to get something out. It wasn't comfortable at all, but thankfully these stool softeners helped. Um, for this, you're only supposed to take up to two tablets per day, not every four hours. So I take two in the morning uh, and that's it. These I take whenever I need it, even though it says one to two every four hours. I'll take one every four to six hours. Um, and like I said, I'll try to not take any today, but we'll see. To combat the constipation, I've been having a green smoothie every day. So I've got some uh, spinach in my fridge. I put that into a blender along with the banana, some frozen fruit I've got some papaya and water blend that up and I've got a green smoothie which I drink that seems to be helping uh, thankfully that's the only source of um, fiber I'm taking right now uh, other than what's in here I don't know if it contains fiber or just it's still softened so I don't think it's fiber but um, the combination of two seems to be helping oh yeah and and farting topic I, I should bring up. Uh, I was told that when I had the operation, they pumped my stomach full of air. And that air kind of gets trapped in there. And what I need to do is just fart it out. I can burp it out, but it doesn't seem to help. So whenever there's a fart coming, I just have to let it go. I was told specifically, don't hold it in. And I live here by myself anyway, so there's nobody around other than my dog. And he hears the farts, but uh, he doesn't care because he farts too. <laughs> Ouch. So, yeah, the, the gas thing, that, that will go away after a while. It, it makes my, my stomach feel rather tight here. Um, so I'd like to get that gas out as soon as possible. It probably has gone and, and now it's just the the nerve endings that are causing me pain. Uh, can't wait to eat solid foods again. I could probably try to have something, but uh, I just don't want to be constipated again. It's it, Like I said, it wasn't a pleasant feeling. And there's not a lot of... Um, not a lot of strength in my stomach to push out whatever is making me constipated uh, push out the stool I mean so so I, I'm staying away from hard foods just for that reason uh, I can wait I can have a double dose of steak after words I guess that's what my doctor said so yeah I went to see my doctor yesterday got a doctor's note because I won't be able to work for four weeks Minimum. The surgeon said I wasn't supposed to be lifting heavy items for the next four weeks. Um, nothing over ten pounds, believe it or not. There is a risk that I could, I could tear the sutures that are holding my, my um, belly button together. I guess. Haven't taken a full shower yet. Um, I'm gonna do that this morning. 
it's been Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today's the fourth day since uh since I was released, so should be good to go now. Um I took a semi shower yesterday in which I knelt on my knees, kind of strategically aimed the shower over my arms, and my back. I was able to wash my hair by leaning forward. Um I had to use the edge of the tub to kind of brace my elbow and and the front of the front of the bathtub to to prevent myself from from falling forward and that kind of helped while I while I washed my hair and all that was to just prevent my my wound on my belly from getting wet because I wasn't supposed to get a wet um so I've had to just wipe it with the with the damp cloth uh, just to clean it off so I'm looking forward to actually having a, a decent shower um, not supposed to spray the water directly on the affected area so it's okay to have the water drip over it and and as soon as you're done you just gotta uh, blot it with the, with the dry towel right away so then it doesn't get wet because that glue that they they put on there is not supposed to stay wet for too long yeah so that's that's about all I have to report for today <sighs> recovery day number five day number Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday day number four sorry uh, five days since the operation recovery day number four have a great day guys we'll see you tomorrow take care Today is Friday, May 11th, and it's been five days since I had my laparoscopic appendectomy. Yesterday, I only had one painkiller the whole day, and that was in that was first thing in the morning. So I didn't have any painkillers for the rest of the day. It's a decision that I kind of regret this morning. I also went to bed without any painkillers, obviously. This morning, I'm, I'm in quite a bit of pain. And for the first time since the operation, the arm right here, where they stuck my IV is actually sore. And I haven't felt that soreness since coming back home. Uh, that's because I've always had the painkillers in me, but uh, they've had time to drain out of my system in the last 24 hours and not only is my stomach incredibly sore and tight but my arm is is sore so first thing I'm going to do is uh, after this video I'm going to take my painkillers um, Still feeling constipated, and not. Uh, I thought by not having any or less painkillers that might help with the situation, but it doesn't. I I still feel the same. Um, I feel worse today just because I don't have the painkillers in me to, to stop the pain. And just to repeat, I believe it's called tramadol. And it's a mix of tramadol, which is an opiate, and, and acetaminophen. And I believe the combination allows the body to absorb it faster. And so the pain killing uh, takes effect much faster than if the tramadol was by itself. That, that was what I read yesterday uh, when I was searching the internet for, for this drug. Um, I had a piece of steak yesterday. I'm probably going to regret it this morning as it might have trouble coming out. But anyhow, I was with my buddy and I had to get rid of some steak that was that I had thawed out on uh, Friday night. So And it was back in fact, but uh, it was about time that, that I cooked it up anyways. It was only a little piece, so hopefully I won't suffer too much. Um, it's a really nice day today. 
my buddy's going to pick me up and we've got an appointment later on today um, for him and I'm just going to tag along and help him with help him out at this meeting aside from that I will probably stick to eating soft foods like congee or maybe we'll go for noodles because I've had congee four days straight and I like congee it's okay it's, it's comfort food for me but I wouldn't mind having some other soft food today as well um, I went for dim sum yesterday so that's where I had congee along with some uh, hagao which are shrimp dumplings and some chicheng fun which is uh, like rice rice noodles rolled up with with prawns inside um, ordered some pot stickers from my buddy I had one of them they weren't very good unfortunately but he really liked them <laughs> uh, well, that's about all I have to report today um, so if you're in the situation so early in the game after in your recovery and you're thinking about not taking your pain I I don't recommend it it's really uncomfortable I, I am suffering right now it took me a lot of effort just to walk out of or get out of bed and walk into my garden here there's my garden behind me uh, just because I want it to be in the sun for the shot it's not the most favorable light but uh, it's warm out here and that's what I wanted yeah so don't uh, don't stop taking your pain meds in the first week I would say um, and I wouldn't recommend cutting it down unless you, you're prepared to tolerate a lo little bit more pain which is what I did I cut down my dosage from one to two tablets every four hours down to just one tablet in 24 hours and that was a bad decision so going back to my um, at least one tablet every four to six hours I guess and um, also when you're taking it don't take it when you're actually feeling pain because it takes about half an hour to actually kick in so you want to you want to take the pill when you're just starting to feel pain again because after the pill kicks in you're not going to feel much pain at all so when you start to feel a little bit of pain coming back which will be about three hours to four hours later um, sometime around that time frame you want to start taking your pill again and by the time it kicks in uh, you'll naturally progress into the next um, release session I guess okay guys um, that's about all I have to report for today you guys have a great day this is day 5 of my recovery after my laparoscopic appendectomy um, don't know if I said it before but at this point if you guys have any questions uh, hit the pause button and put your question in the comment box below and I don't get a lot of questions right now so uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have um, please subscribe to this channel if this is your first time watching my videos I've got a number of videos on gardening cooking um, in this case uh, enduring a laparoscopic appendectomy uh, I'm going to cut it short now um, please subscribe to my channel and have a great day talk to you soon bye hey guys just a quick update um, it's about one o'clock now and I took two of my tramadol pain relievers at about uh, 11 o'clock so it's about two hours after right? I took two of those pills and the pain in my in my arm that I felt let's see if I can get a shot of that the pain in my arm that I felt right about here the IV was injected there and I felt a lot of pain right there 
Anyhow, it's been two hours since I took the pill, and the pain has, for the most part, gone away. Uh, except for when I press it. The pain that's in my stomach has, for the most part, gone away, too. Um, a little more comfortable. Actually, I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable now. I'm out and about with my buddy. I'm just waiting in the car for him, so I thought I'd do this quick video just to let you know uh, how powerful these painkillers are and I, I've always said that I, I don't like taking medication in this case I I have to take it if I don't take it I I can't function I can't I can barely even walk so so that just goes to show you how important these painkillers are um, I'll, I'll just have to continue taking them until the pain subsides. Uh, that's exactly what the doctor, the surgeon has said to me. Um, and those were my instructions when I left the hospital. So, yeah, take those painkillers as prescribed, whether you like it or not, because in my case, I regretted not taking them yesterday. I thought I can do without them and just take one pill, uh, but no, nope, it doesn't work. So I'm forced to go back to my regular schedule. I, I took four this morning and I'll take one in about four or five hours when I get back home. So that's all I have to say for now. We'll talk to you next time. It's Saturday. It's been six days since I've had my appendix removed and I'm just out here in the sun enjoying my green smoothie. This is really important. This is my early morning fiber intake. This is my dog Salsa, I haven't introduced him yet. Um, this combined with my stool softeners is what's helping me with my bowel movements. I mentioned yesterday that there's not a lot of strength in me to, to actually push my bowel movements out. So the fiber really helps. So if you're in a situation where you've had your appendix taken out, I strongly recommend you get lots of fiber via either green smoothies or salads. I just find it's a lot easier to have spinach in my drink. And I mix it in with fruits and water um, rather than having a salad. But your mileage may vary and uh, get your fiber intake through whichever means you, you want. Um, yesterday I had a total of four painkillers. Four or five. Um, two in the morning. I usually start off at two in the morning and then I just have one after after that whenever whenever uh, I'm scheduled to. The day before I decided to just have one and I suffered yesterday because of that. So I got back onto my regular uh, pain med schedule and it seems to help. This morning I woke up with a lot less pain. My, my arm where the IV was uh, wasn't hurting. Pardon me, I just have to throw my dog's Kong. So going back to, onto the pain meds was, was a good idea. Um, woke up feeling a lot better. I just had two painkillers uh, about an hour ago. So it should be kicking in now. I do feel better. Uh, my core here is, is still really weak. And because of that this morning, I noticed that my, my, my lower back is has become really sore because it's compensating for the lack of core muscles here. So uh, that's something to, to watch out for. You, you will probably get a sore back as well like I have. Um, can't really exercise so you just kind of have to deal with it. And I guess the, the, the painkillers will kind of help with the, the sore back as well. I'm not going to take any other form of painkillers so this is, this is all I'm, I'm going to take in. Hopefully that works. Here, I can't reach it. Yeah, today today I'm doing a lot better. Still feeling pain. 
I'll probably uh, just continue taking one pill every every four hours and see how that goes. Um, staying on the soft foods. Yesterday I had some congee. Uh, my sister made me some vegetable soup, so I'll I'll have some of that soup later on today. Um, just start off with this, and this this will fill me up. As a breakfast, I put one banana in here, a big bunch of spinach, uh, about a quarter of a pear, Andrew pear, and and some papaya, some water, I blended it up, and that's my green smoothie. I like these; they're delicious. And if if you've never tried a green smoothie, uh, perhaps if you're in my situation, that would be a great time to try her. In fact, do it every morning because it's a great breakfast. And there's a lot of nutritional benefits in green smoothies. I and I prefer it over juicing. A lot of people are fans of juicing, but I find that you get you get you get the sugar rush from all the fruits right up front. And then it's out of your system uh, relatively quickly. You can get the same benefits as juicing with the green smoothie, but you've also got the fiber. And obviously the fiber is good for you. So there's a lot of micronutrients in it. It's going to help you with your, with your system, keeps you regular. So why not consume it? It's either that or it goes to the compost. So it's better to go through your system and, and let your body grab whatever nutrients it can before you before it goes to the waste right before it goes to waste sorry yeah so that's about all I have to report today feeling much better much better than yesterday um, sore back which isn't a big deal I'll just have to take it easy today core muscles are still quite quite tight I don't feel as bloated here as I as I did um, the last couple of days as I mentioned they, they inflated my belly with, with air in order to do the procedure so um, I think most of that air or all that air is gone now I'm, I'm not I'm not farting as much so maybe that's a good sign well um, maybe see you tomorrow it's a Sunday and it's been seven days since I've had my laparoscopic appendectomy. Just out here having another green smoothie and I thought I'd give you another update. Today's probably the best day I've had since I've come back from the hospital. I am feeling a lot less pain than I have in previous days. That doesn't go to say that I'm not feeling any pain. I'm still feeling some discomfort but it's it's a lot less that probably has to do with the fact that I'm healing and also the fact that I'm taking my medication as I'm supposed to I'm not drinking any alcohol I've been warned not to not to mix it so obviously I haven't um, there was a day when I took that one pill and I did have two beers but the next day I woke up feeling so sore that I just decided two beers isn't really worth it. I'll just wait till I'm fully healed before I start drinking again. And so I'm drinking something healthy instead. If I can sum up what happened in the last seven days, there are a lot of times when I felt really nauseous. Like even right now, um, I can feel my, my tummy just kind of bouncing around and whenever I'm in a car or, or walking around it, 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 everything just moving around in there and you can feel it it's just really sensitive to movement um, the other day I was in my friend's car and he took a, a curve really fast and, and just that that momentum kind of made my stomach move and I felt it. it didn't hurt but it's kind of awkward to actually sense that sensation um, my back's not sore today thank God it was yesterday because I was as I mentioned, I've been having to use my lower back muscles since my core muscles are so weak, and they're still weak today, but um, everything seems to be moving along a lot better today than, than it has uh, in previous days. I've 
probably consumed, I, I had 30 pills, so I probably consumed two thirds of it. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna need a refill. Hopefully not, I don't, I don't intend on doing that anyways. And hopefully I won't even need to eat the rest of those pills, but we'll see how it goes. Mm, I'm, I'm still taking my stool softener and thank God for the stool softener and, and the fiber in this green smoothie. That's, that's making me regular and, and uh, helps me get, get through the day, I guess. Um, I like to get back into some, some hard foods, maybe perhaps eat some meat again, but for the time being, I, perhaps for the next three or four days, I'll, I'll continue to lay off any meat for a while just to make sure I don't have any um, bowel issues. So it's been quite an experience. I, I hope none of you have to experience it. They say you only have to experience it once, but um, that's not really true. After some research, I realized there's something called a stump appendicitis. So, and it affects about a one tenth out of one percent, whatever that works out to be. Um, one tenth out of one percent of people who have had their appendix removed. Now, what happens, I guess, is when they when they snip off the appendix, which is about the size of a pinky. When they snip it off, there's a little stub that's still stuck to the intestine, and I guess they they staple it or something. But what happens is that that little stub there might have some blockage again one day. So same issue again, you'll get a little bit of fecal matter or some, some um, undigested food stuck in there. The bacteria grows and it swells up and causes pain. And if it doesn't get removed again, it could rupture. So there is a slight chance that, that some people could have two um, appendicitis. Hopefully that won't happen to me, but uh, it really is life-threatening. So if you start feeling any pain, uh, right here, just in that quadrant above your belly button, that's where it starts. The pain starts here, and it and it feels like a stomach ache, but it's a different type of stomach ache. And what happens is, over the, the 24 hours, it will start moving down towards the lower right. Um, quadrant of your abdomen which is where your appendix is and and within a day I felt a lot of pain there and that that pain is what prompted me to do a little bit of research on the internet and then I realized that oh I've got appendicitis and if I don't go to the hospital pretty soon uh, I may have big issues so I went on Sunday had I waited till Monday things would have gotten a lot worse. Uh, there was a very large chance that my appendix would have ruptured. In fact, during the 11 hours that I was waiting for my operation, the pain got worse and worse. And my buddy was telling me, well, why don't you take some pain meds? And I, I don't really like taking medications, so I, I declined any pain killers that they offered me. Uh, so they were quite shocked, and so was my buddy. Uh, but after the operation, that's a different story. I, I can't function without the painkillers. I tried, but it just, it isn't worth the pain. So I'm just gonna continue on with pain meds until, until I run out or until the pain stops. Um, so that's a telltale sign. Obviously, if you're vomiting, if you have diarrhea or constipation, uh, those are signs as well, but that pain right here in the, the middle of your abdomen, slowly moving down towards right, 100% guaranteed that it's appendicitis. So if you start feeling stuff like that, um, first thing you want to do is secure a ride to the hospital and let them do a blood test. They'll do a blood test on you. They'll do a urine test on you. And if those two prove positive, then they'll set you up for a CAT scan, CT scan. And when that comes back and they can confirm that you, you haven't ruptured or your appendix hasn't ruptured already, if, in which case they'll operate on you immediately. Um, if it hasn't ruptured, they'll schedule you for an appendectomy. 
within 24 hours. In my case, it was within six hours. Um, and there's two methods. There's one where they, they make an decision. I can't remember the name of it, uh, but my mine was a little cleaner. They went in through the belly button. Sorry, this thing went darker. They went through the belly button and it's called a laparoscopic appendectomy. So they use a, a camera that goes in through the belly button and then two puncture wounds, one, one on the lower left abdomen and one just above the, the groin area. And through those spots, they can then insert their tools to do the work. It took 45 minutes uh, and my doctor did a great job. So that's about all I have to say. It's been a painful seven weeks and if you have any questions regarding this procedure, go ahead and comment below and I'll, I'll do my best to answer those questions. I hope this was informative for people. I really wanted to, that's my dog whining here. I really wanted to share this information with people because I, I think it's knowledge that everyone should have. If you like this video, please, please share it with, with your friends and family because I, I think it's valuable information and I think uh, somebody could, could make use of the information. And it may affect um, someone, the life of somebody you know. Uh, so share and like my video please and subscribe uh, this will probably be my last update for for my appendicitis have a great day this is terry signing off